Hi, today we're going to talk symmetry. So today we're going to make a fun project called Name Creatures or Symmetrical Name Monsters. What you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half the long way or sometimes art teachers call it the hot dog way. When I fold paper I just try to match up the corners. I try to find the center and then I just slide my finger. It does not have to be super perfect so don't make this part um, be challenging for you. Um, what I like to do is I'm going to turn my paper and on the top portion I'm going to write my name. So you can use cursive or print. Um, this, this version I'm going to do in cursive. I do have an example I'll show you at the end of my name in print. My name is Mandy. So if you want it to make sure you don't run out of space you might want to plot out where your middle letter is. So I'd put an N here but I think that I can do it. I'm just going to make it extra curly. Now if you don't know cursive, you of course can print. I just like to see the different um, loops and things in some of my creatures. Now if I want to, I could stop here and not bring my Y down, but I think I'm going to see what that loop does to the creature. So there's my name. I'm using a 2B um, drawing pencil. You can use a regular number 2 pencil. The 2B is nice and soft. Um, and then the base doesn't have an eraser, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. So then I'm going to fold it back up. You can still see your name through this paper. So you're going to then take the gold cap of your drawing pencil and rub it where the name is. Because the 2B pencil is softer, it's going to transfer. So you can see that it's already starting to rub over to the other side, which I will continue to darken after I get the whole word um, on the paper. And then of course if you miss a spot you just fold it back up. Now I can see all of the little loops of my name, so I'm going to darken it. It's in a reverse. And this is how you get the symmetry. If there's a section that you can't see and you're not sure how to fill it in, go back in, fold it, reapply that pressure. Okay, so after you have it drawn out, you might want to look at it from two different angles. Up here with the M, that could be a head with some saggy jowls and some antennas. Um, it also could be um, big giant nostrils. Looks like I need to. Um, if I flip it around, I see kind of like an insect or alien face. I could close out these and make these the eyes or maybe even these could be the eyes and he's wearing some powerful crown. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out which I want is top or bottom and it doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to stick with this. I see a head formation right here so I'm going to go with making that my alien head. Um, of course your, na your name is going to be a little bit different. Um, notice I put one and then the other is not symmetrical but if you do want something symmetrical, um, let's say this, I'm going to make this part of like he's wearing a cape with a big um, collar. If I want to make that on the other side, I'm just going to close it up. And then I'm going to trace back over. So as I go through, I can decide what I want to add to make him have monster features or creature features. It's kind of fun to do crazy things like this. Just it is a great uh, stress reliever. You could add things to it. I don't even know what that was. Looks like uh, some 
growth on his shoulder, maybe some horns. Yours can be sweet. It does not have to be scary. It can be silly. It's completely up to you and your personality. You can link it to your identity, who you are as a person. Um, Doing like a Kermit the Frog kind of collar there. And you just keep going and going and going and adding and adding and adding. I'm um, just using your imagination today to play around. I think I'm going to close out this side of his body. So using symmetry, using our drawing pencils, playing around, having a little bit of fun. Um, let's see, what kind of feet should I give him? Maybe I'll give him some fancy shoes with a heel. Maybe he'll have laces. After these are done, you can outline them in Sharpie, you can use colored pencil, you can use paint. However you want to finish them off, whatever you have in your, your art supplies, So here we go. Let's see, he doesn't have any arms, so I could add arms. I could make this into a pattern shirt. I could add buttons. Um, just keep going and going and going. I have one here that I, I printed my name, so I'm gonna show you that example. And I finished coloring it as well. So this is the same name, just in print. Um, I went from this direction here. It's M A N. D, Y in print. So sometimes they're hard to see once it's all finished. But here is a, my finished name creature in print next to a started name creature in cursive. So have fun with it. Be loose. Be creative. Have, um, be symmetrical and try it out.